how did the deck come about? Well, um, the deck is actually a, an, an invention and baby of Mark's. He likes to Mark play Dictus. Dictus, yeah. Uh, he likes to play the, the funky, bit weird deck. Uh, people sometimes mock him a little bit for it because he really does not want to play the best deck. And um, Mark and I really share that fascination. The same thing with Draft. Uh, we're always looking to do the goofy thing. So um, when I saw Mark testing this Open the Vaults deck uh, online, I was like, ah, that looks pretty cool. Or, yeah, I just beat John. I was like on a million life and I just decked him. <laughs> so that sounded so cool. And uh, then I kept uh, following him, uh, kept an eye out for the, the World Week stuff that was coming out. Uh, at first it looked promising with uh, Pilgrim's Eye and uh, the Chalice, but yeah, we tested it and we were all the time we were like, oh, damn it, if this only was something else, <laughs> it would have been good. So uh, we actually just stuck to the original plan. And then uh, the only innovation, if you want to put it like that, uh, that that's mine a bit, even though Mark tested it too, was uh, the showroom, the Hegemon. Because yeah, people side in the gates, almost everyone sides in the gates except Junt. And well, showroom can't be negated. And he, he snuck in uh, under the the counters uh, a few times and gave me the game for wins, so that's pretty much how it came along. Now, uh, this is your very first Pro Tour, right? Yes, my very first one. Um, how, how did you kind of start with the game? Where, where did you begin playing and how long have you been playing and how long have you been PTQing or trying to get to the Pro Tour? Oh, um, I started playing when Prophecy came out, so that's uh, the Y2K. Uh, <laughs> And it was actually as kitchen table as you can get. We were like, uh, I ping you, in response, uh, shock your pinger, I don't get damage. You know, stuff most people probably do. And uh, then first big shift came when I went to university. So that was uh, around the time Mirrodin was in print. Uh, that's when I started to look at hey, this drafting thing looks okay, uh, what is it? I bought boosters in bulk and we did like this kitchen table drafts and two player drafts just to, to get to know limited and I really had fun. And then uh, the outpost, uh, the, uh, the chain of shops where Mark Dictus works, again, Mark Dictus, um, came to Ghent and it was like 200 meters from my uh, student room. and. Uh, I'm customer number one. That was Ravnica just after Guild Pact came out and uh, started playing competitively there. Um, had real fun drafting for real. <laughs> um, I did a few PTQs, started in Time Spiral, so it was right after that. Uh, I really sucked at PTQs, I never did well. Had a couple of O2 drops at PDQ. I think the best I ever did was 3 2. Uh, that's probably the best. So, nothing special. I started playing Grand Prix for fun. Um, my first one was GP Eindhoven in, was that, 2005? Um, had fun there, homebrew deck. Uh, went 4 5. Then. GP hustled for four, scrubbed uh, out in Hanover, and then went to Paris, uh, thanks to, again, Mark Dictus. Um, just for fun, uh, got my day two, wow, got my top eight, mind blowing. Hey, you're invited to the Pro Tour, okay. Uh, okay. I made enough money so I can pay for a trip uh, going to the Pro Tour. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> the rest, as they say, is history. Um, how do you uh, <clears throat> how do you feel going into the top eight as the most inexperienced player when it comes to pro tours? Uh, do you feel confident? Do you feel like you're an underdog, or do you have high expectations for Sunday? Well, that's a difficult question, but let me put it differently. I've I've been watching coverage for four years. I've seen every documented match ever, <laughs> and to me it was like, okay, those guys are like playing some other game, it's, it's, it's not what I'm doing. And now playing those guys and, and seeing that it is actually
actually the game gives me a, a real confidence boost, like, yes, I can play with these guys and no, I'm not an auto loss uh, anytime, uh, but I do realize that I'm making a million mistakes per game, so I'm, I'm losing a huge edge there. I've got a very good deck, so deck-wise, I really like my chances, experience-wise, technical play-wise, uh, I'm, I'm gonna hurt myself. Um, but I won't let it get to me and I'll just try to do the best I can. If I scrub out quarterfinals, whatever, I'm the happiest man alive. If I win, I'm the happiest man alive. <laughs> sure. Uh, what do you feel the odds of you winning are tomorrow? Winning the whole thing? Mm -hmm. um, I think that's dependent on uh, what happens in the quarterfinals with uh, Luis and uh, Jeroen. Because um, I think the Luis Naya deck uh, for me is a rather good matchup. The mono red ish burn deck is a really bad matchup. So if Luis beats uh, Jeroen, Luis, I, I think I have a decent chance of winning the whole thing. Man, that sounds cocky to say if Luis. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, I, th I think. There is a shot there, but it's a long shot. Sure, that's fair. Um, do you have people that you want to thank or uh, um, shout out to for helping you with the top eight? Every Belgian player, uh, Mark Dicht is in, uh, in uh, especially for making the deck and testing it, and, and just being a huge support uh, to me. Uh, the Viren brothers, they've been great friends. Marin Liebert. It's been helping me out. Christophe Gregoire has been a help uh, in Ghent. Um, uh, huh. um, my girlfriend for putting up with all this magic crap. <laughs> uh, and my mom for saying uh, I, I was wasting time, money and energy on this game. <laughs> Got you there. Um, any other people? Actually, everyone I play with in, uh, in Ghent. A whole bunch of great guys, they helped me a lot. And uh, I guess I really have to thank Jurgen Bart too. He's a level 3 judge, he was my mentor. And he, he, I'm a level 1 judge. And I don't know, being a judge helped me appreciate the game even more. So, a lot of people to thank. I guess there's still a hundred left, but. <laughs> it's a good list. Yeah. Alright, well, thanks, Neil. Play well tomorrow, and uh, good luck in the top 8. Thank you, Bill.